All right, Benny. This is a game that I'm interested in. Patriots at the Bills. Bias plus score 2.1 favors the Buffalo Bills. Look at that little teeny tiny teeny weeny bias of 2.1. Yes. That's less than a field goal on average. Better. The Buffalo Bills were better than the Patriots. But um, I, I'm really looking to see Mac Jones throw the ball against a better competition. You know, if he goes out and shows out. Now, the Buffalo Bills, I think, are probably better at pass defense than they are run defense, which yes. means that Patriots, if they're smart, they're going to run the ball like they did in the, in the wintry game. Yes. Um, and that's going to keep it close between the two. Um, but the Patriots defense had, had been a little uh, iffy lately, whereas they were like top notch at one point. I mean, they were like, you know, if you could almost depend that no matter what Mac Jones did, they were going to pretty much be OK because of that defense. Um, so if they're back to form, then, um, you know, this is going to be this is going to pretend to be the type of game that the bias plus score actually says it's going to be. All right. I'm ready. So, look, I'm in the middle of making a video with my homie right here. Right. Uh, so we gonna, we just talking about football. Okay. But so y'all can do whatever. Or... Is that one? Hey, Ben, is that one of your players? Yeah. It's two of my players. All right. We're going to get ready to kick the video off. Ask them to stick their head back there so I can ask them about this bias, what they think real quick. Okay. Come on. What are you talking about? So we do a bias plus report. We take you can stay in the chair. We take the points. Don't be shy, step right up. Oh, we ain't shy. Definitely we ain't. told Ben he didn't have to, he didn't have to get up. He was good. <laughs> Call the legends, right? <clears throat> yeah. The legends. What's up, fellas? I'm Barry. I know you very well, oh, sir. Yeah, you, uh, it's Chris's son. Chris That's Dad. Chris Dad. Chris Dad. I played Oakland Wildcats all that. I know you very well. <laughs> How you guys doing? All right, you. Great. All right, you, 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 your coach there, uh, this is the part of the show where we're looking at the matchups for the upcoming weekend, wild card playoffs, getting ready to kick in. I don't know if you guys are fans of any team. Any of you guys fans of any particular team? I'm an Eagles fan. Oh, Lord. Any <laughs> Philadelphia team. Any Philadelphia what team. <laughs> and? What? Any Both of you Eagles fans? That's who I, that's who I root for. Eagles fan. We Eagles fans. Oh, you're standing together as, as Eagle fans. Any Philadelphia team. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we, we, we ain't got to that, to that game yet. The game we're talking about are the New England Patriots at the Buffalo Bills. My bias plus score, 2.1, which is a teeny tiny bias plus score, favors the Buffalo Bills. Who you guys got? I'm not going against Belichick. Me personally. I like Buffalo. You like Buffalo? I think Buffalo running game is way better than New, e New England uh, defense in front. So I think they I think Buffalo Bills run game is going to it's going to be the impact of the game. It has it has gotten better. Singletary's looking and good you right think now. The Buffalo yeah. run game is better than the New England Patriots run defense, eh? Yeah, I think so. Interesting. I'm, going against, I'm not going against Belichick. Point blank period. <laughs> I'm just not. <laughs> That's just how I feel. He ain't been in the playoffs in a year, and he got something to prove. Uh, a very focused Bill Belichick is not the guy that I want to see for my first round matchup. That's just how I look at it. Can a very focused Bill Belichick put the game plan together that can overcome any of the rookie deficiencies of a Mac Jones? Uh. Well, they passed it two times last time and yeah. won, right? Three times. Oh. <laughs> Not that game, bro. I'm just saying. Like, it was a 100 mile an hour listen, win. Listen, yeah. listen. It's supposed to be like zero degrees. It's going to be super yeah. frigid. It's, it's going to be cold, cold, but yeah. it's not going to be windy. But either way, if you can run the ball that many times and win an NFL game. And that's going to be key, though. Running the ball in the cold, they're yeah, not going to be is. able to catch that ball. It is. This is going to be really now, now, you guys question New England's run defense. What about Buffalo's run defense? Because you know New England's coming with the run. Remind J. Stevens is no joke. Yeah, I think, I think, but I think Buffalo run defense is, is a slight better than the Patriots. Mm -hmm. if, if the Patriots can get a, a passing game going, I think they'd be all right. 
but I don't see Buffalo beating New England. All right, Benny, give me let, 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 let's get the coach's take on this. Let's see what he got to say real quick before we that move to the next up. match. Ben's taking, <laughs> Buffalo, of course. Ben's taking Buffalo. You heard him here first. <laughs> you like the colors. Thank you, fellas. I appreciate that. You guys will be on national you did, you YouTube to shortly. Those guys are pretty astute football guys. You're lucky you got two pretty good guys. They didn't really open up like they normally would if we were just standing out on the field talking. But, yes, I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills. I feel like um, they feel like they know what they need to do to beat the Patriots. They are not overwhelmed by the whole Belichick mystique. I can understand fans like my man saying that, um, you know, he's not going to go against Belichick. How many times? I'm not betting against Jordan. I'm not betting against Belichick. I'm not betting against Brady. I'm not. I understand that. I really do. But I think the Buffalo Bills run game has improved to the point where their offense is a lot more diverse, meaning that they need a little bit less from Josh Allen. He's the guy that you have to get pressure on. He's the guy that you, you want to rattle to get Buffalo off of their game. And because Devin Singletary has now somehow turned into a valid running back over the last couple of weeks, and, and, and their offensive line has learned how to run block efficiently. Timing is down. Everything is looking good. That's a new, almost a new added element to their offense. The Patriots will be formidable. The Patriots will run the ball. Ramondre Stevenson is not a joke, but I don't think he can do it on his own. And Damian Harris is a little bit nicked. So what's going to happen probably is either Buffalo's going to get out to a lead or it's going to be a tight game, nip and tuck. And either way, Mac Jones is going to have to be the difference for the Patriots, and I don't think he can do it. All right, there you go. There you go. Your skepticism with Mac Jones is right there with mine. But again, I think in both of our cases, it's a skepticism that's married with respect for the fact oh, absolutely. where he is as a rookie and has come as far as he has. Considering that I understand like one, only one or two years in, in college. Like he, didn't, he wasn't a four-year starter or nothing like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? All right, going with the Buffalo Bills, going with the bias. Next up, 